Hello out there, Asheville. We are delighted today to have Jody Stevenson, who is with Goodwill. He um, is their specialist or training manager, and he's here today to talk about the importance of maybe retraining or training in this pandemic situation and about the programs that Goodwill has going on for people to get trained and their partnership with AB Tech. So hello, Jody, how are you today? I'm doing well, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. So yeah, that's uh, my role over here at, at Goodwill um, is skills training manager. So I'm involved in um, helping organize the, the classes that we offer um, over here. And um, as a Goodwill, we do that um, in partnership with other agencies, especially community colleges, but a few others as well, um, to provide quick, uh, short-term training for folks that get them back to work. Um, we aren't a credentialing institution, so we want to make sure that uh, people that take classes at our centers are walking away with recognizable um, credentials. So that's why it's important for us to, to partner with, uh, say, our community college. And of course, here in Asheville, that is AB Tech. Mm -hmm. so, um, so would internships be part of that training program? Uh, well, we, uh, again, um, there are some internships that are available through some of our partners. We uh, do something, uh, since you brought it up, I'll jump right to that, that is kind of connected to our youth services program that's probably closest to an internship. So um, we have a youth program, and that youth program, it works in uh, the Buncombe County Schools, um, and it works with individuals teaching them life skills through a program called One Life. Um, and they go through the curriculum. And in the summer, we do a thing called a workplace experience. And it's very similar um, in a sense to an internship. Uh, Goodwill will pay the salary for that student throughout the summer. Um, and then we just ask uh, employers to take them on kind of in an internship kind of um, style. So that's something very similar to, to, the, um, to what you mentioned as an internship. Of course, our, um, our partners such as AB Tech have uh, other, other uh, internships that they do. They also have apprenticeship programs. Um, so we're, again, referring people to those kind of things that come seeking uh, help from Goodwill. We know how to link them to various opportunities like that. So if an entity, uh, an office or business wanted to partner with Goodwill for that internship, how would they do that? Well, they can certainly, and I will uh, make sure that I have that for you, uh, reach out to our, um, to the various managers over those programs, and I can provide you with those emails. Um, and then, you know, of course, we have, people can call in directly to our um, phone line, ask information, and our um, switchboard operator, if you will, will, will connect them to the right person. They know the programs that are available here and who to connect people to. So yeah, just, uh, you know, having folks call in uh, to, to our, our career center is a great way of getting connected to um, any, any of the, the uh, programs that I'm going to be mentioning here today. Okay, great. And so what trends are you all seeing uh, with, uh, with either students or job seekers? And uh, you're working with AB Tech, but with anyone else also? So good question. Um, you know, people are coming in all the time uh, out of work um, or thinking of transitioning of some sort. Um, you know, they come into us seeking assistance from us. And so we do keep an eye on what, what uh, our, um, our students and, our, and the people that come in are, are looking for. So we keep an eye on those kind of trends. And, you know, one thing that I will um, kind of uh, mention here is that really what we're seeing is that individuals want credentials that hold value. Um, you know, there's a change going on, I think, a big change in the world, um, where we're seeing a lot of uh, times where just general degrees are not going to get the jobs they used to get. So we're, we're seeing that people need um, specific uh, uh, certificates and training in specific kinds of skills. 
Um, and you know, the other thing that we're seeing uh, within the educational um, world is a big, uh, you know, debt ratio of like what you can earn versus how much debt you go into to go to college. So it's not that we um, are saying that uh, higher education or, or or these things are unvaluable. They certainly are, um, but we do like to pride ourselves in helping people, um, you know take short-term training that gets them back to work. A lot of times what people are missing is that it's really important to get into the job market quickly and start gaining experience. And then to look to your employer for those additional um, benefits. A lot of employers will will help you with uh, college expenses to gain further education. And so then you're taking on less of a debt um, debt load that way. So those are kind of some of the trends we're seeing. We're also, you know, noticing that, um, you know, that we want to have people come in and inspire them. Um, you know, there's a, a fair amount of folks that maybe are interested or a little confused during this pandemic, interested in changing jobs, switching, um, maybe they lost their job, all those kind of things. And so part of our role here is to, you um, is to help people do the research that they need to do in order to find the right training um, that will that will help them, and and you know also it's our role to help them get inspired so that they can uh, you know make the right choices and then you know land those jobs that they're seeking. Um, if you may, if I may, I, I'll talk to you a little bit about a program that we think it, you know has tons of potential that we just started um, has a ton of potential in inspiring people that are in that exploration mode and that program is called career quest so what hey, let me let me do just a station id real quick and tell okay. people who we're talking to so you're listening to wpvm 103.7 in Asheville, north carolina and all over the world on wpvmfm.org and today we're talking with jody stevenson with goodwill's job training uh center so go ahead, Jody, tell us about yeah. that. And also, I'm wondering what kind of jobs are available now? Okay, yeah. So uh, right before um, we had our little break there, I was, I was uh, talk, about to talk to you about a, a program that we're really excited about uh, called CareerQuest. So um, CareerQuest is an opportunity for people to, that are exploring and want to see what kind of jobs are out there who's hiring, what industries um, there are that are hiring and what those industries are like. So with this program, we invite employers um, onto a webinar that people can register for. The employer will talk a little bit about their industry that they're connected to. Then they'll go into more details about their place of business and what kind of job opportunities there are at their place of business. And then we'll finish up with live Q&A with that hiring manager. Um, so it's a really uh, amazing opportunity for in a very short amount of time for people to kind of peek behind the veil, if you will, and end up uh, talking directly to a, a hiring manager without having to go through, you know, long application processes and, and all that, especially if you're in that exploratory mode where you're trying to figure out what to do next. You know, sometimes you're not going to get that just from a job description. You need to actually uh, get an, you know, get a chance to talk to uh, a hiring manager a little bit about what the job entails. So that's something we're really excited about because, you know, um, there are a lot of uh, job opportunities still through this pandemic. We've been seeing um, th that there are job opportunities, uh, and as things are starting to open back up, you know. We're going to see that there's a lot of employers that are in need. Um, we already are seeing that. So we, we've got um, employers reaching out to us from the medical field. Um, we just talked with Mayhek recently, who's, you know, they have job openings. Um, you know, of course, uh, Mission has job openings. So there's, there's a number of, um, of job openings in the medical field. Manufacturers are reaching out to us. Trades uh, um, industries need help. Um, we're seeing a lot more delivery and truck driver uh, positions open. 
Um, and then, you know, it's a, it's kind of a misconception. We actually had a great conversation uh, with a hospitality employer uh, during career quest this morning. And um, they were saying they, they have no, a number of different hotels that are currently hiring for. So, uh, you know, a lot of people are thinking right now that because of the pandemic service industries aren't hiring. Uh, it's just not true. Uh, there are jobs available and think, and they're going to be even uh, more available jobs coming soon as things start to open up. So <clears throat> besides those types of employers who are hiring anybody in any other like uh, respective employers in the area, besides the service industry and the medical industry, well, I mentioned manufacturing. Um, I also mentioned trades in there. Um, so, you know, one of the things that we provide at our center is a, a drop in opportunity for job seekers to come in and talk with employment specialists. We have job boards in there. So there's a very large, diverse um, array of jobs that we post on our job boards. They're going to get one on one help writing their resume um, and, and talking with employment specialists about interview skills and those kind of things. So uh, I would encourage people that are that are interested in, um, in, in doing some job search or transitioning to a new job to, you know, either come in uh, physically, which uh, they, is it is available for people to come in and, and talk to us physically, or uh, we do have some virtual services that we can provide people as well. Um, I'm going to be putting into, um, you know, the, the chat since we are doing this over Zoom, I can do that now. Um, but I'm going to be putting in a bunch of different links and information for you to be able to share. Uh, I assume you guys have a website that you can do that. Um, with. So I'll be doing that for you a little bit um, today. So, um, you know, the, the general vibe around town is that there's not a lot of jobs out there. And if they are jobs, they're, they're low end jobs and jobs with no future and, and no benefits. Mm -hmm. So are you finding in this new world that we're in post pandemic or uh, towards the for the whole pandemic situation, are you finding that there really are good jobs out there? Jobs that pay well and have benefits and have good work here environments? Yeah, um, you know, I'll, I'll start off with um, just that the, the, the I think the, there's a movement going on um, throughout the entire country where, um, you know, salaries are, are increasing. Um, people are starting to realize to find quality people um, to, that, that will stay with their company, they're going to have to pay more. So we've been noticing um, just that a lot of different uh, industries are starting to increase their pay. So pay is increasing, and that's a great sign. Um, in addition, you know, yeah, I think right now there, there are a lot of um, people that are a little timid to get back into the workforce due to the pandemic, but many employers um, are hiring um, and they are, you know, uh, you know, doing really good things to make sure that their, um, their places of business are safe. So I do want to, if this, you know, take this to get out to people that there are positions available. Um, these are, are good jobs uh, that we're seeing that the pay is increasing. Um, I'll highlight one industry in particular um, that I think more people need to give a chance, um, and that's manufacturing. Manufacturing are they're generally, um, you know, very solid companies, so they provide good benefits. The the paradigm of, of factory work that that most of us have in our mind is no longer the case. These are very clean, uh, safe environments. Um, and they, I, like I said, they have really good benefits and, and pay packages. So uh, we have a number of um, manufacturers in Buncombe County and in Henderson County, if you're willing to travel a little ways. So, um, you know, that's something that we can help you with. If you come and visit with us, we can get you in touch with the right manufacturing employers. I would really think more people need to, to look into that field if they're looking for good, solid um, careers in this area. That's one of the ones we're highlighting right now. So what tips do you have for job seekers and who are interested in switching into one industry to another? Mm, good question. Um, 
Well, the one thing I would say is do your research. And we have, um, again, employment specialists that can help you with that. Um, there's websites called like uh, one called ONET that you can really dig in and find out a lot about a particular industry, what the pay rate is, um, what their growth rate is, um, all those kind of really good details. But I would say take a step back for a second. Instead of just getting online and um, randomly applying places, take a step back, do your resource, uh, do your research, sorry. And one of the, again, going back to CareerQuest, one of the things that we think this is, uh, makes this program so powerful is that in 45 minutes, you can get to know so much about a local employer just by logging onto a Zoom call with us. Um, so that, will, I think if you do your research and, and you um, take a minute to explore, you're gonna find something that's more inspiring to you and will stick longer if you do that than just, like I said, just kind of like getting online and applying to anything um, randomly. Pay is not the only thing. Benefits matter. Uh, quality of life and work-life work, work -life balance, um, those kind of things matter. It's got to fit your lifestyle. These jobs these days, were, uh, they have to um, fit or you're just, you're not going to be able to um, stay at them. Then turnover is going to be an issue. And when I talk to employers, um, you know, that's what they're looking for. They're looking for for employees that stick. So they don't want just somebody who um, randomly uh, decided to apply. They want to know that they have passion um, and really want to stick around and, and work for them. And so what's the best way for job seekers and members of the community to stay up to date with what Goodwill has to offer? Oh. And how do, how do they find out from their being sequestered in their home? Okay, well, first off, um, we do have a website and I wanna go ahead and um, um, say that website here so that people can log on because there's a lot of links and a lot of things to get to just through our website. So that's www.goodwillnwnc.org. Uh, we are the Goodwill of Northwest North Carolina. So that's what NWNC stands for. But if you go to that website, um, you're gonna be able to find lots of information there. We also um, have a bi-weekly newsletter that people can, um, can join. And there's a lot of great information about new events, job fairs, classes, um, uh, webinars that you can find on that newsletter. Um, so I encourage people to, to uh, join that newsletter. Um, again, they can find links to do, do that on our website which I will provide for you as well um, in the chat. Um, you can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, but if you're local, uh, I would encourage people to just drop into our center from time to time to look at our job boards and talk to our employment specialists. So uh, Goodwill is open for shopping now and for, uh, for services like you we're talking about today? Absolutely. Um, so our career centers are currently open to the public to come in um, and seek assistance from nine to four. Um, you also uh, you can do some, um, some stuff virtually. So uh, we are able to connect with people virtually, help them with their resume, talk to them about interview skills. Um, so with this, uh, you know, with the pandemic, we've had to um, explore new op opportunities and ways to help people. Um, so we are doing a lot of different services virtually as well. But, you know, if that doesn't work for you, if you don't have those computer skills, we are open to the public. Um, uh, so please come on in between nine and four. Um, and where is that career center? Yeah, the, so the Career Center is here in Asheville, uh, right next to the DMV on Patton, Patton Avenue. Uh, so our address is 1616 Patton Avenue. Um, so you'll see a very large store there um, on one side of the building, an outlet center in the middle, and on the left side of the building, you'll see our Career Center. Um, our stores also are open. Uh, you can, we, you know, come in, do the do the shopping that you need to do, and um, if you're if you're looking for employment, also visit our career center, all in one spot. And your safety protocols are are going in full force there. I'm trusting. Yes, absolutely. So if you do come into our center or our stores, please, you know, keep your um, mask handy. You'll have to have a mask um, available to to come in. Um, to either the store or the, the career center. Um, it needs to cover you know, your mouth and nose at all times. 
Um, and so uh, the, I wanted to mention the, the store hours as well, um, since I have those here for you. Those are um, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Okay, well, so we've been talking to Jody Stevenson with uh, Goodwill, and we've been talking about the job situation and the availability of training and extensive amount of career help that Goodwill is offering in partnership with some of the entities and businesses in the community. And uh, we will have this information that Jody is going to share uh, scrolling on the video and uh, also on our website and on also on Good Goodwill's website and on social media. So uh, thank you so much, Jody, for filling us in on these great programs. It's always a pleasure to have Goodwill come onto the station and tell us what they're up to and dazzle us with the wonderful things that they actually do for the community. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's our pleasure. I, I just wanted to, um, again, say thank you so much for um, having us on today. Uh, it's been a pleasure to talk with you. Okay, thank you. So this is WPVM 1037 in Asheville, North Carolina, and we're signing off.